So, uh, I'm up to the point now where I'm going to go ahead and put the head bolts on. Uh, head gasket, head bolts, uh, degree of the cam, and then, uh, put the, uh, time belt assembly if I can find it, that one piece that, uh, goes to the gear on the opposite side. The little, uh, that goes on this side, that little piece of metal, little thin piece so the belt doesn't slide or hit the uh, back of the block or the front of the block. So right now that's what I'm doing. Uh, but uh, these head bolts, I don't know. Look at the, they expect it to tighten all the way down. I'm pretty sure this can tighten just a little bit more, but not enough to um, get rid of that problem. I compare these to uh, stock head, basically stock head bolts. And um, there's, there's a pretty much good difference there. I'll show you here in the next video when I pull all this out. And uh, I'm going to measure the length in there because there's something going on. I'm going to take out the caps and all that. All the Everything lines up. Looks good. No binding. So that's our next step. Let's just get this done so I can... Uh, so we got a head gasket, head bolts, um, put the uh, tensioner on, or the belt, and uh, crank pulley and all that. Which... Uh, crank pulley I'm gonna have to end up getting because I don't have and then um basically yeah, I gotta take these gaskets off on the other side she dropped it um uh, so we gotta take the gasket off of here get a uh, oil filter some oil um just let's see where all the let see where those bolts came through hopefully that does not leak and we don't have any leaking issues that's my biggest thing if it leaks I'm going to say F it. I'm going to have somebody fucking weld that, that part right there. That little section where it's broken. Just weld the water pump straight to the block. But other than that, just... I'll update you here in a second when I pull this head off. Man, I'm kind of... Like, how did that... How did they, they get that in, the, in that uh, Z6? Because I don't see it possible. Like, look at that shit, dude. And I pulled them out and I tightened them all the way back in. Still got that gap, so like it's a half an inch too long. It's weird. Uh, I'm telling you how they got it on that, uh, that Z6, man. But, I don't know, any ideas? I mean, the only thing I, I mean, Besides that little difference, well, this one stops there and this one keeps going. I mean, I really don't know. Mm. So the way I see it, it's basically a stock head bolt. And then you put the ARP. Basically, just let it, oh, there's no washer, oh, there's a washer. Start it over where it's flush. And basically what sticks out where you got to tighten is the thread that's that's left exposed so you get what I'm saying like on a regular one the thread that's basically the, basically the gap up here that's left open is the amount of thread that it's on the ARP but bolts is too long man maybe I gotta get some more washers or something all right so got the head bolts on got them torqued um I found that little a little piece I was looking for right here for the, for the uh, crank or actually for the uh, Tommy belt so it doesn't slide off. Uh, I thought that was the uh, crank pulley, but it's not. I mean, I don't, it's actually to another motor. But um, all things I got left is got the valve lash, which uh, I got my filler gauges right here. Um, I got to put the crank on it so that I can put the bolt so I can turn it and get the um, the pistons to drop a little bit. So when I'm doing my valve lash, um, my the valves aren't actually hitting the uh the pistons and could possibly bent the the new valves i put in here so i gotta do that first so i'm probably gonna go make a trip to the junkyard and go get those two things a crank bolt and uh the crank pulley but um let's see what else uh valve lash and then i gotta get the oil filter and um spark plugs and some spark plug wires and the uh bolts for the valve cover I think that's everything as far as that goes. I don't think there's anything else I missed. Yeah, because I got the belt, everything on here. 
So that's pretty much it. I'm going to run a timing cover on it. Um, I don't see the point, too. I know it keeps stuff out of there, but I'm not going to run it. I'm going to work on this gasket tomorrow. Oh, and I need to get a uh, VTEC solenoid gasket. Um, my VTEC solenoid don't have one, so I need to get that. That's another thing. But for the most part, that covers basically all that. I just hope, I hope, you know, I watched some videos of a guy who um, did the same thing as far as the water pump goes. And uh, he just uh, Honda bonded and that was it. You can see I put a lot in there, so put them all down. So let's see if it works. I hope it works. And that way I ain't got no problem and it's just driving it until uh, this one gets done. The head I ain't got to worry about. The head's been done. I just got a new rings bearings and stuff like that and um get a balancer uh delete kit but yeah back to this one it's almost there just a couple more things just a couple more things and then we're done and then uh, after that's done then i gotta get the uh, stuff i need for the intake manifold uh the bolts um the auto air control valve on my car is going bad so i'm gonna have to get one to replace it so i'm gonna have to get one I get a new one if I can find a used one because mine's just it's not doing anything. It's, it's horrible uh, That's the rest of the stuff for that motor and Just put the fuel rail throttle body and anything else it needs uh, Intake manifold gasket I already have that And honestly, that'll be it. It'll be done I got the brand new belt right there. So I already did a test fit had no problem Just gotta get the belt so I can rotate the engine But that's it for today um, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button. Let all your people know that uh, you've seen this guy build this motor and, you know, he got some more to come. So, let your people know so I can get some more of them uh, subscribers. You know, maybe throw a like on there, a comment, even if it's just a period. So, thanks for watching. Alright, so this is where I stopped. Um, can't find the crank. I don't have a crank pulley or the, uh, the crank. The crank bolt so i can put that on so i can rotate the engine so that the pistons aren't at tdc so when i'm doing my valve lash i can't worry about bending any valves so until i get that i really can't do anything else so for the meantime i'm just going to uh call it a day there um valve lash crank bolt crank pulley um oil filter and um valve cover bolts and then just get the little things i need for the intake bolts and I think that's pretty much it just so i can mount the throttle body but that's it man go check out my youtube channel so you can watch this build live